and let's talk about demons for a second. I was actually going to make a video today about it, but let's do it right now. Um, demons, as they are traditionally understood, no. There's only light and that which is not light. And then there's a spectrum that connects the two. On this side of the spectrum is God, is creator, and that is light. And on this side of the spectrum is that which contains no light. We call that the darkness. It's not that they're demons, it's just that they do, they're oppositional in every energetic way to source energy. And that is what they are. Most of the beings that people encounter here on earth that they say are demons. Oh, I played with the Ouija board and now there's a demon in my house. Those aren't demons. Those are dumb, malevolent, rude, malicious, troublemaking, earthbound spirits who did not cross into the light because they're afraid to go to the other side because maybe they think they're going to go to hell or maybe they are inordinately attracted to the energies of the earth. And so they have stayed here instead and now they just want to come through Ouija boards and they want to knock around people's houses especially those people who are afraid because then, then they have the power of course but most of the beings we call demons are just humans who are dead and who are troublemakers and a-holes that's the truth that's the truth now there are beings that are discarnate so don't have a body never were human that are completely oppositional to source energy so as to be antagonistic to it and that can cause disruption, chaos, pain, fear, and all that just, yep, they do exist. Are they demons as in one third of heaven falls and now we're, no, we're not demons that way. They're just creatures that are in complete opposition to source energy. But here what we need to know is, and the darkness could not even comprehend the light. It's not that the darkness is just antagonized by the light. The darkness can't even comprehend the light, doesn't understand it. What the hell is that energy? I don't even get it. All I know is I don't like it and I have to go. That's the nature of light versus darkness. Source versus anything oppositional to source. The stronger energy is light and love. Love. In the human body, in this 3D reality, the closest we ever get to feeling the energy of God in our body is love and all its expressions thereof. That in and of itself, holding the energy of that causes demons to flee. Demons, all these lower entities, causes them to flee because they're like, what's that? I don't like that. I gotta go. There's a great story in a book called The Sixth Sense written by Stuart Wilde with an E. Great guy, may he rest in peace. He talks about being harassed by gray aliens at night, coming to visit him, doing different things to him. And it wasn't so much that he was afraid because he was not, but he was frustrated and tired and he was over it. And so his remedy for those encounters was to love them. The next time they came into his room, he consciously activated the area of his heart, which is what we associate, of course, with love. He filled his awareness and body with love, and then he pointed it at them and sent it to these beings, and it confounded them. And they got confused, and they left. And the darkness cannot even comprehend the light. That's how strong the light is. So there's nothing to fear with demons. There's nothing to fear with oppressive spirits or possessive spirits. Do they exist? Yes, I do believe that these low energies exist. But I don't care. They're not part of my reality. They're not part of my reality. I align with the light. I align with source energy. I align with love. I talk about that. I walk around the planet being that. This is what I am. And as a result, I don't get harassed by these beings, and neither will you. Fixations on demons and ghosts and mean spirits and Ouija boards. That's kindergarten stuff, honestly, for the spiritual person. No offense, that's kindergarten stuff. Do you want to be talking about frequency, vibration, energy, consciousness, existence, creation? You want to be talking about omnidimensional beings. You want to be talking about you as an omnidimensional being. That's how everything changes in the life.